Lysosomal storage diseases comprise a large group of disorders. They are individually rare, but collectively relatively common, approaching a prevalence of 1 in 5,000. Each disorder is caused by a specific enzyme defect leading to accumulation of specific macromolecules. The diseases tend to be chronic and progressive. The hallmark of the lysosomal storage diseases is the accumulation of enlarged lysosomes within swollen cells, as illustrated here. This can be compared to a normal cell, as illustrated here. These cellular accumulations are typically pervasive, involving multiple organ systems. Febre disease involves the toxic storage of an accumulated cerebroside, derived from the basic ceramide molecule, as shown here. This cerebroside is normally degraded by the lysosomal enzyme, alpha-galactosidase A. This enzyme cleaves the last galactose molecule from the ceramide. When the enzyme is defective, ceramide trihexoside accumulates and leads to cellular toxicity. Mutations of the GLA gene on the X chromosome lead to Fabre disease and result in undegraded ceramide accumulating in multiple organ systems, as we will illustrate. Predominantly, males are affected with this condition, although carrier females often also exhibit symptoms. Confirmation of the diagnosis is either by enzyme or genetic analysis. The condition typically becomes manifest in later childhood, often with the occurrence of acroparesthesias, causing either pain, burning, or other abnormal sensations of the fingers and toes. Hypohydrosis and hematuria are also early signs of Fabry disease. In adults, there is typically multi-system evidence of ceramide storage, resulting in major medical complications if undetected. Cutaneous angiokeratomas are a visible manifestation of ceramide storage. Angiokeratomas are often present in the abdomen, buttocks, and inguinal regions and result from abnormal proliferation of blood vessels. Storage of ceramide can also affect the eyes, resulting in corneal opacities. Therapy for Fabry disease occurs through enzyme replacement strategies requiring frequent home or hospital enzyme infusions. This therapy leads to significant improvement of symptomatology and an amelioration of the disease. Other treatments under investigation involve the use of small molecule chaperones, genetic engineering, and gene delivery therapy approaches. Symptomatic treatment of Fabry often uses anti-inflammatory and analgesic agents for treatment of musculoskeletal and cutaneous pain symptoms.